Pentazi. Um, I got a question in from uh, one of my uh, students down in uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Uh, he's one of our instructors, actually, Jorge Rodolfo Sandoval. And uh, his question was uh, relating to the San Chin video that I made recently on the closed gate position and some of the tuites and attacks that you could do into the head neck areas. Um, I go off on a whole thing in my, uh, my videotapes, uh, the San Chin entering, uh, where this is a whole level of martial understanding and you can do many different things from head attacks, body attacks, leg attacks. Um, you can do it in ground grappling and you can also do it on arm attacks, two ETs, uh, you name it, you can do it. I mean, that position, that one position at the end of San Chin, very powerful. Well, he continued to say that um, he once saw Sensei Kyohai. Now, I'm going to read the um, uh, question here because it's uh, pretty long. So he said, uh, once I saw Sensei Kyohai Shin Shinjo showing three hands of the Bubishi, relating them to the tiger, the crane, and the dragon, and uh, getting to know practitioners of uh, traditional Rukyu um, or Weichi very closely, He's also noticing that um, Gokenki Ki and uh, Kabum Weichi were friends and that Oh Han Soken was a student of Gokenki Ki as well. So yes, back then everybody shared information. Um, they were open about it. They, they gave, if you gave a piece of information to an instructor, they'd give it back. It wasn't like today's sportified um, versions that people are more contestable about their their styles and very secretive um, even though they're doing just block punch and kick anyway so um, his question was uh, I thought the difference would be between crane in the Pangai Noon and the white crane of Ohan Soken can you give me any idea and he's asking about the idea of the differences um, and he said he would expand privately in the discussion forum on QShow.com. And I answered back to him. I said, now, Jorge, I think the Soak and Crane was more of an elusive distancing and timing type of uh, methodology. Whereas the Pangai Noon uh, or the Weichi advances and they just plow in and they still get the long distance shots. Okay, of the crane style, uh, a lot more mixed up with the dragon and the crane as well. But it, the more successful deliveries that I've found, now I used to be a, a Kempo practitioner, and in that Kempo, I did long range sparring as most of us do in our karate schools. And that was the um, elusive crane methodology of um, Ohan Sokan Gokenki lineage. Now, when you get into the Pangai Noon and the Weichi, which I did, um, it, it's more of a, a advancing art. And yes, you can still do the long range attacking of the crane methods, but you can also utilize the tiger and a little bit of the dragon as well. Um, but in the crane aspect, they go in, they close in. Now, in my research, I found that when you're bouncing around doing your sparring, Q-Show, of course, is very hard to land, number one. It's very possible, and we've done it su successfully uh, in many different countries around the world. We've trained our people, and they can all do it in that sparring-type mode, that Ohan Sok and Gokenki sparring type of um, range. But once you get into the Pangai Noon, okay, we're also doing that as well, but Kyusho accelerates when you close the gap. Because if I'm moving around and trying to locate a strike, my body energy is going off in different locations. And uh, as the strike's coming forward, the focus of the whole attack and whole intent is not into that target. 
as you're evading and striking in, for example, on maybe the um, facial nerve, your body's going this way. So your brain is um, having to send uh, neurological messaging, uh, blood supply to the muscles on this side to support the body weight since you've shifted over. And it has to maintain that balance. There's very little left of intent to get into that punch. And you can still throw a heck of a strong punch, but the energetics are different. Whereas if you're moving straight in like a Weichi practitioner, if you're coming in and you're striking, your forward momentum, your energy is all going into that uh, trajectory that would be um, going into that nerve system if you're striking, say, up into the neck nerves or the facial nerves as an example. Okay, you can do this on body nerves, leg nerves, the, you name it, you can do it. But I'm just as, and as an example here on the film uh, working that for you. So uh, that's the differences I see between the two styles, uh, Gokenki and Ohan Sokin methodology of Shoran Ru and the different um, styles, the white crane styles that they did were more elusive, long range um, attacks. Whereas the Weichi is more moving in close to get those succinct blows in with the sharpened weapons of the Bubishi and the 6G hands. <laughs>